I absolutely love Hell of a Boss. Its world building, comedy, and characters are all amazing, and I even rewatched it with just about the same reaction for a quick refresher before I write the script. But there's just one character that I absolutely can't stand due to him being annoying and unlikable. Stolas! He stands out to me as easily the worst character in Hell of a Boss for a multitude of reasons. I have no idea if this is a hot take or not, but I'll go on ahead and give my reasons. Retcon. Although Season 2 Episode 1 is a well-written and entertaining episode where it shows Stolas' backstory and part of Blitz's, it mostly exists to make Stolas a more sympathetic and understandable character. But, even though this episode is well-written, it's clearly just a retcon of previous events dealing with the whole thing where he cheated on his wife for Blitz. Why do I feel this way, you may ask? Well, it's because it explicitly makes Stella the bad guy instead of continuing the plot from Season 1, where it is Stolas' fault for ruining his family by cheating. In season 1, the daughter opens up to him and says word for word, but home doesn't even feel like home anymore, you ruined it. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore, you ruined it. This can only possibly mean that pre-season 2, it was still his own loss for Blitz that made his family life way worse than usual, since these are highly specific words and they can't be misinterpreted in any other way. The family was normal and peaceful before Stolas cheated, then Stella went haywire and the root cause of that was Stolas' own cheating. Before season 2, Stella is never shown to be a horrendous person in the same way as season 2 episode 1, just one who is unimaginably angry at her husband for cheating and it's pretty much the only thing that she talks about having issues with him, so she insults him but still, he cheated on her. Only in Season 2 does she unjustly insult Stolas, and in Season 2 she doesn't even care that much that he cheated. She still treats him the same way, it's just the fact that he cheated is like an extra insult she can throw at him now. It's no picnic being married to a boring stiff like Stolas. I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had. <laughs> I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic, imp-sucking face! It's simply the thing of a character being worse than another by comparison, which makes the other one look better. In this case, it's still a postseason 2 being written to be worse by comparison than Stolas in all ways imaginable, which to me comes across as the writers not really knowing how to make Stolas sympathetic naturally as the series goes on. In short, Hell of Boss retcons Stolas being at fault for ruining his family by making a backstory that conflicts with the events that happened previously. And because of this, I personally dislike the character more since he had to go through great lengths of making a well written 23 minute episode so that we can all feel bad for Stolas there, instead of just keeping it so that he has his own fuck ups and uh, big issues in his life that he has to learn how to improve on and move past as the series goes on. Lame gimmick. The biggest and most memorable part about Stolas is that he lusts for Blitz. Never has he ever invited Blitz out on a date or wanted to actually hang out with him normally. It's only ever just sex. Just about everything Stolas says to him is dirty or something that's highly sexual. Never anything ever romantic. Why, hello, my big dick Blitzy. <laughs> Say my name right, fucking dick. Am I going to get any thank you for the rescue, Blitzy? You know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. You know, I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could. I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just... Sure they went on a date once, but Blitz asked him so that he could spy Millie and Moxie. It had nothing to actually do with Stolas or any romantic feelings between the two. Stolas craves Blitz song so much that even around his daughter, he says sus type shit to him. I'm calling the only man who can f*** me. What? Who can protect me? Us. And while the interaction was funny, and sometimes it's still funny whenever he does that kind of shit, this bit generally gets old really quickly. Like after like three episodes it gets old. By episode 5, I didn't even want to hear it anymore. If Stolas and Blitz are on screen, you know that 9 times out of 10 it will just be Stolas making a sexual remark and Blitz will not reciprocate the same feelings. Rarely it's kind of funny, as I said earlier, like in season 2 episode 1 when they met as adults for the first time. And like, it got a small chuckle out of me, mostly because of how like sad fucking Stolas was and how bad his life was at that point. <laughs> and how much it means that the one who wants me is my first ever friend. <sighs> All right, fine. 
I can do this real fast. But Stolas is truly their weakest joke material. Blitz also doesn't even like Stolas as the sex they do is entirely transactional. There have been some confusing remarks Blitz have made that might signal mutual lustful feelings, but those remarks are very few and far between because generally, Blitz doesn't want anything to do with Stolas, and any reason Stolas would like Blitz would have to be surface level. Like, Blitz is my second favorite character and he's super fun to watch, but relationship wise, he has no redeemable traits. Especially when we think about Blitz's own insecurities and flaws, it just wouldn't make any sense for Stolas to like him at all, or for Blitz to even try to enter a relationship or anything like that. All this culminates into a man who pathetically prioritizes chasing another man for sex as his finale of life is ruined because of it. Watching it is the least entertaining thing in this entire show, and just about every other character interaction is leagues more entertaining. Lame character. Stolas actually doesn't get that much screen time, which is surprising because of how important he is to the plot. As if it weren't for Stolas Grimoire, Blitz wouldn't have a business. But from the screen time that we get of him, I deduce that he's one of the weakest characters in the entire show, personality-wise. He's just some lonely guy who prioritizes a weirdo little imp over everything ever. Sure, he's nice to Octavia, but like, it's just two extremes. I'm like Moxie or like Blitz or whatever, or even Luna. <laughs> A character I don't even like. He's either insanely hard or horny for Blitz, or he's just a dad. I mean, he's also like super lonely, but aside from that, after watching this show twice, the second time just to try and analyze, like, or get, try to get an analysis on what Stolas is like, I can't rack my brain for any sort of deeper character analysis on Stolas other than that. My solution. I think that if they just showed a few instances of Stolas wiping a dick bad from the start, and a few off comments from Octavia and or Stolas about how much his wife sucks, then eventually she finds out that he was cheating on her with Blitz, it'd be better. Like normally though, that cheating would be the push that he needed to divorce her. Not only would it made his character millions of times more sympathetic from the start, since we immediately know his situation and what his wife is like, but we also don't have to retcon anything to make his sad ass more of a likable character. I'd also just tone down how sexual he is, because in some episodes like episode 2 of season 1, it becomes a little gross. Rating, or season 1 episode 5 where it just becomes annoying. Conclusion I don't like Stolas because to me he's a weak simple character that isn't very fun to watch after a short amount of time in comparison to the roster of great characters like Blitz, Moxie, Millie, Octavia, or even one time characters like Chaz and Stryker. He's also the only character that needed to have a backstory episode devoted to mostly him and one that needed to retcon previous events in order to make him more sympathetic and as a person who hates retcons, repetitive jokes, and weak characters, I don't like Stolas. Keep going hell of a boss. I love what you have so far and your world is incredibly entertaining just please make Stolas an actually likable character if that's possible in the future go ahead and leave your own opinion about Stolas in the comment or opinions about what i've said um i've been alex and i'll see you on next time maybe